So now that we're at 0 0.9 degrees Celsius, we want to save our data. So now we're going to start a new data set. And now we're going to move our test tube out of the ice rock salt mixture. And we're going to place it in our test tube rack. And now we're going to leave our freezing point cooling curve. That's our red graph. And now we're going to make a new graph, a blue graph, that's going to be our melting point determination curve. So now we're at one degree Celsius. And again, we're going to take one temperature reading per minute. So at the zero minute mark, we're at one degree. So now every minute, we're going to collect the temperature point until all of the biodiesel is liquid again. So right now at one degree Celsius, of course, we have solid. You see how the probe is still stuck in the biodiesel. It's frozen in there. So now at our one minute mark, we are at 1.4 degrees Celsius. And so we're gonna let this continue to collect our temperature and time data. And we're gonna note at each time, which are one minute intervals, we're gonna note whether or not the biodiesel is in a solid state or if it's in a liquid state or if it's in a mixture of liquid and solid. So we can see our blue graph, our temperature is increasing. So make sure you're writing your time and temperature data on your lab report form. So we're at 2.5 degrees Celsius. Still have solid biodiesel. Now we are at 3.9 degrees Celsius. Again, we've got, we're starting to get a mixture. See, now it's easier for me to slide my probe out 
So now it's turning more gel-like. So now I've got mostly solid, but I can tell I've got a little bit of liquid starting to form. So our five minute mark, 3.5 degrees Celsius, mostly solid. The six minute mark, we can say that we still have mostly solid. So at the seven minute mark, we are at 5.2 degrees Celsius. And we still have mostly solid, but it's getting really soft, really kind of like a slushy. So we've got a nice solid liquid mixture. a slushy or a smoothie. A smoothie is a better description. I would say the same thing for the seven and eight minute temperatures, 5.2 and 6.6 .6 degrees Celsius. We have a solid liquid mixture. The mixture looks kind of like a smoothie.
the nine minute mark, 7.2 degrees. So I have a nice solid liquid mixture. Very gel-like, very smoothie-like. Ten minute mark. Still says still a solid liquid mixture at eight degrees Celsius. Again, very smoothly like. So you see where both of our graphs cross, where the red graph, our freezing determination graph, it crosses with our melting point determination graph. And where those two lines meet, that is what's going to be considered our equilibrium temperature. That's going to be the temperature where we've got a perfect mix of liquid and solid. Our temperature is still increasing. Still have a nice gel-like mixture. Nice mixture of liquid and solid still. I would say at this point, we probably got more liquid than solid. More liquid than solid. But still there are some solid consistency but not very much. It's mostly liquid at this point, at the 12 minute point, mostly liquid. And as the rest of the solid melts, we'll start seeing our curve flatten, just like we saw our freezing point curve flatten down here. We're gonna see the same thing up here. It's gonna start flattening the blue curve. So the 13 minute mark, mostly liquid. Still a little, little gel-like nature to uh, consistency to our biodiesel at this point. So still kind of gel-like, but mostly liquid.
Again, mostly liquid, but it still has a very viscous, thick consistency to it. So there's still a little bit of solid left, but it's mostly liquid. So now we're seeing our curve start to flatten out. Our temperature differences are getting smaller, just like we saw with our freezing point determination curve. say at this point we have all liquid so we'll get our final reading and I think we can stop there all of our biodiesel is now in the liquid state